So let us do one more 2011 question. So what does this question say? How do you obtain the following? That is benzoquinone from phenol, picric acid from phenol. Correct. So I've already done this uh, reaction one of the video. Please watch that. I have done this, I think, yeah, benzoquinone from phenol in a video called oxidation of phenols. In oxidation reaction of phenols, I have made a video on this. Please check that video. You will get a complete clear analysis how phenol is getting converted to quinones, quinones to benzoquinones, correct? After that, picric acid. Picric acid is nothing but 246 tribromophenol. So, picric acid from phenol, I have done in a video called bromination reaction. So, bromination uh, of uh, phenol, I have done this in a video. Please watch that. So, bromination of phenol, you will be getting, you. I have done two bromination. Bromine with bromine water and bromine in carbon disulfide. Polar solvents and no, uh, less polar or non-polar solvents. So, please watch that video for that question. Next comes 2-methyl propene from 2-methyl to propanol. Yes. Now, most of the students here get confused. What do they do? They, when this question is given to them, they they write this as reactant and they write this as product wrong what do they say i have to prepare this from that compound correct so this will be our reactant and this will be our product correct i have to show both of them now let us write the re once this is given let us write structure of that so 2 methyl 2 propanol so they said this is your carbon yeah so they said at the uh, particular uh, uh, two methyl so this particular compound two methyl correct let us see uh, so they given two methyl two propanol so this is your prop molecule yeah so methyl group and this so write this name two methyl Two propanol. Yes, done. Now what should I do? I have to prepare which compound two methyl propene. Great. So so two methyl propene. I have to prepare this. No, observe carefully. When I see this compound, what what are you seeing? This CH3 group, this CH3 group similar, yeah, this carbon, this carbon similar, CH3, CH3 similar, but what is different? Here you have an alcoholic group and here you have your uh, methyl group. Now we very well know, suppose if I am applying oxidation to this, I am not going to get alkene, correct? If I am applying reduction, not possible. If I am applying dehydrogenation, no, I don't get. But if I apply a reaction called dehydration, correct? Yes, a dehydration. Why am I applying dehydration reaction? Because this is a tertiary alcohol, right? Remember, this is a tertiary tertiary alcohol in tertiary alcohols we uh, elimination is more preferred correct yes so earlier in primary and secondary you can comfortably take out but here in tertiary you have to do the dehydration process rather than dehydrogenation process so remove you're going to take out this h and this ch2 suppose if i write this as h now your water or your this one is going to come out and what happens this bond has come out with this and the leftover bond whichever is there is going to drop here yeah so this has dropped just observe ch3 carbon and this oh has come out with this bond and the bond which is there here has dropped in here so you get alkene right so what should we use for dehydrogenation also dehydration i have to use a dehydrating agent that is your concentrated sulfuric acid so concentrated sulfuric acid is acting as a dehydrating agent dehydrating agent and it's going to remove water from tertiary alcohol and give us alkenes so this is how you're going to do the reaction